Bantayan Island is a small picturesque island all the way at the northern tip of Cebu. In recent years, this island's become very popular with tourists looking for an idyllic island getaway, easily accessible, great infrastructure, and alluring cerulean beaches. What's not to love? But how do you get there? Where should you stay? What should you see and do? And most importantly, what should you eat? All these questions and more will be answered because this is We Wonders Bantayan Island Travel Guide. From Cebu City, take a bus or drive or walk if you feel like it, all the way up to San Remejo in North Cebu. There are some fun things to do in this area, but this isn't a San Remejo guide, so that's gonna have to wait for another day. Have someone drop you off at Hagnaya Port and get a ticket headed to Santa Fe on Bantayan Island. They have ferries running all day and should only cost around 200 pesos. The ferry will dock in, you guessed it, Santa Fe. This is without a doubt the main tourist hub on the island, playing host to many beaches, restaurants, hotels, and resorts. To be honest, you have a lot of options for where to stay. I'll put links to some different hotels and resorts in the description so you can see which ones scream your name. Come on! Come in, come in, come in, come in! Ask around Santa Fe and to your hotel about where you can rent motorbikes. Like I always say, this is the best way to see the island. If you aren't comfortable driving, you can always use Hobble Hobble and tricycles as well. There are honestly a lot of places to eat on the island. Obviously, your resort may have a restaurant, but there's also a little Boracay-esque strip in Santa Fe with a lot of food options. Guys, I didn't expect this in Santa Fe. OFG. One place we personally recommend is Everyday Sunday in Santa Fe. We found ourselves turning up back here multiple times. Everything we tried from there was euphoric for the taste buds. Before I can tell you the things we saw, I have to tell you what we missed because I don't want you to make the same mistakes we did. Don't be like us guys, be smart. The biggest thing we missed is island hopping. This is almost required on Bantayan. Ask around on the beach for someone to take you to Ilantagaan Island and Silion Island, also known as Virgin Island. You guys ever notice how there's a Virgin Island pretty much everywhere you go? What's up with that? I don't know. We also missed Ongtong Cave in Santa Fe and Sugar Beach in Santa Fe. I'm sure there's more we missed. Check the comments to find out what. <laughs> to be honest, most all the tourist spots are in Santa Fe, but there are a few that aren't. So I'm gonna start all the way at the northern tip of the island and work my way down. In Madridejos is Cota Park. Here you can find some cool ruins and an all right beach, but this place is known for being the sunset spot on the island. My dumb butt went in the middle of the day, but trust me, go here for sunset and walk out on the bay walk. Heading south to the middle of the island, look for Barangay Kabangang. Here you can find the quarry. Park somewhere and just walk around exploring this place. It's like nothing else on the island. Here you can also look for the big cross, which believe it or not, is a big cross. Further south, it's required that you visit the Obo'ob Mangrove Park. I've been to a lot of mangrove parks, but this one is the best. Before you go back, make sure you take one of these hats. It's free and it isn't required, but like, come on, it's fun. On your way back, you'll also come to Camp Sawi, which my girlfriend tells me is the location of a Filipino movie also called Camp Sawi. So if you're into Filipino movies, get hyped. Eventually, you'll make it back to where the mangroves open up and you'll be met with the beautiful view of the ocean. Be sure to stop here and reflect on life decisions before moving on to the next spot. You can stop off at Paradise Beach and the Paradise Beach campsite. It's a beautiful beach, but we thought some of the beaches later on are nicer, so if you're on a tight schedule, it can be skipped. Have you ever been just driving along and happened to see some awesome looking ruins on the side of the road? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, it happens way too often nowadays, but trust me, you're gonna wanna stop at these ruins on Bantayan. Not only are they like cool ruins, just past them is an awesome cliff jumping spot. Though you don't have to jump. There are ladders and stairs leading down so you can swim in the crystal clear blue water. Oh, and all this is free. It's literally just ruins by the road. Back in Santa Fe Poblacion, of course, you need to visit Cota Beach. This is the most popular and most Instagrammed beach on the island for a reason. Snow white sand and, you guessed it, shockingly blue water await you. This is also a beach you may want to look for a resort on. We didn't get to, but I'm sure staying here is amazing since this beach is said to have the best sunrise on the island. As far as my favorite sunrise on Bantayan, welcome to Bodel Beach. In most ways, this beach is very similar to Kota Beach, 
but to us, it felt a bit bigger. There are a lot of resorts, hotels, and restaurants along this beach as well. Oh, and don't forget the sunrise I mentioned, because it's magnificent. Finally, let me introduce you to Balidbir Lagoon. A bit unknown by many still to this day, the Snaking Lagoon is amazing if you have a drone to look at from the sky. Wait, you don't have a drone? Well, that's okay too, because the beach all around this lagoon is just as beautiful as all the other beaches I mentioned on the island, if not more so. To make it all the better, you probably won't see another tourist on this beach or at the lagoon. This is without a doubt the most untouched, raw, natural beach on the island. Well, as far as I know at least. I mean, I don't live there. To get to Bead Lagoon, drive toward it and go over the little bridge. Once you reach the ocean, just stop and start walking to your right until you find the beach. Keep walking to get to the lagoon. By the way, it was low tide when we went. It normally looks like this. Mamma mia! Oh my gosh, guys, that's it. That's everything I have for you on Bantayan Island. If I missed your favorite spot, be sure to yell at me about it in the comments so other people can see and visit on their trip. Bantayan Island in North Cebu is pretty popular, but for good reason. Without a doubt, one of the easiest islands to explore. You should at least be considering squeezing it into your itinerary for your next trip to Cebu. Keep wondering.